Chicken chips, big boo boo, brother. Congrats. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Good morning, y'all. Welcome or welcome back to another video. I now look a little funny because I'm in the process of doing my makeup. So let's actually go finish that right now. Okay, so while I do my makeup, I want to share some very exciting news with y'all. Very exciting. And that is... an entire house we bought an entire house and so here we are the vlogs are about to go up okay moving vlog series here we come so yeah i'm really excited really really excited we have the internet getting installed today so that's actually why we came over here we have not slept here yet um we closed on it last week and so we don't have a bed we don't have a couch we have nothing we have nothing so it's gonna take a lot to get all of this together but we're so elated, so excited, and yeah. Yeah. Now, I haven't even done a deep clean yet. So, while we're out here, I think we're gonna run to Target or Walmart, grab a whole bunch of cleaning supplies. So this is everything that I brought from the liquidation store, which y'all would have saw that in a previous vlog. Now y'all see why I was so excited at that liquidation store because we needed all of these things. Now it's here in the house and we can find homes for everything. Got the new carpets. <laughs> this is the master. The master bedroom. The closet. This is gonna be Anthony's closet. And I, I'm gonna have an entire closet room. I'm gonna have an entire room to record videos, as an office, my closet, like a dream come true. Got another closet in here. Girl, stop. We got a new house. We'll probably have to end up getting a new washing machine and a new dryer. But as for right now, I'm about to, put the washing machine on a clean cycle. This is an older washing machine. Remove clothing or other items. Place one tablet into the washer tub. Do not place in the dispenser. For washers without a clean, select and run a normal or heavy cycle with hot water setting. Okay, heavy, hot. Okay, and then it says, one tablet into the washer tub do not place in the dispenser yes yeah, so you just throw it in there so the tablet is in here y'all see it's dissolving a little bit and i'm gonna just close it and let it do its thing i'm gonna just let that run but once we go to target and stuff i'm gonna get cleaner and all of that and i'm gonna clean the washing machine as well but i just wanted to run this in there also all right so we arrived at the cleaning section at walmart and yeah we're about to do a little haul so let's get into it definitely need some gloves all right, y'all, just kidding. Of course, the internet tech, finally, after two hours, he's missed his window. He was supposed to come between 10 to 12. It's 12. Of course, now he's on his way, so we need to go back to the house, and then we'll be back to Walmart. This is just so irritating, because why not come during your scheduled window? Why come later? Like, I have a life. We all have lives. I can't sit around waiting for you to come. What's up, y'all? Happy, oop, boop. Happy Friday. So the internet technician dude never came. So we had to reschedule it for tomorrow. So we'll be back at the house tomorrow. But as for right now, we're picking up our bed. Yeah, we on a Sunday found a bed that we liked. And so we're picking it up today on Friday. We ended up getting a startup pillow top bed. I really wanted to temper it, but. But nonetheless, a bed is a bed. So praise the Lord for it, okay? What you say? Yeah! Look at Anthony. Back there laboring in the sun. Hey, boo boo.
that dude did not say one word. Like, say hello, good morning. Good morning. Ciao. Anyway, we got our bed. Good morning, y'all. It is Saturday, it's like 8.30 in the morning. And we're headed to the house today we're going to do a deep clean so we're going to try this haul again at walmart and then we're getting the internet installed and um yeah we're bringing the mattress over and we're bringing just a few other little things as y'all might be able to see right here i think this one's appropriate it says welcome home <laughs> we'll use this uh-huh and this new plug-in Super cute. They don't have those like those. These types of um plug um wallflowers. Yeah. Oh yeah, like during the holidays they have those. Never seen these in store. I think these might be new. Mm. Oh look how cute it glows. That's so cute. Feels better quality. Yeah. Y'all we're at Ollie's right now. Just getting stuff at the house, so frying pan. Whisk. Salad tosser, pizza cutter, some Pyrex, food storage, a little, uh, whatever these things are called, measuring cup. And there's some towels and washcloths. So that's what we have right now. We're just kind of walking around just seeing what we need for real. We don't have like a list or anything. Now we're looking at vacuums, thinking about this one. But we gotta look at some reviews to see what is it giving. And then y'all look, I found some odor eliminator um, powder for the carpet. Says it's good on carpet rugs and upholstery. This is what the car is looking like, y'all. We ended up picking up this vacuum, the water, I mean, power force helix, a little lightweight um, handheld vacuum. Got some Lifestyle 279, some fabric anti my, my, whatever 199, pine saw base broom. How much is this broom? Five dollars, some tongs. Anthony put these in here. And y'all, look how freaking cute this is. Mixtape potluck by Questlove. A cookbook, only $4. Veg friends you wanna impress. Look how cute. All types of different recipes. Now I was gonna go to Walmart and get the, um, the O.C. to, yeah. All types of different recipes in here. Now we're in Walmart, y'all. But we got so much stuff from Ali's that we really don't need that much from here. I'm gonna grab these paper towels. Need some toilet bowl cleaner. We need this old cedar mop. They only have one. Oops, let me do that. But I'm gonna grab this one. So this one half open. Uh, let me see if they got some more somewhere else. Found them. Need some of these. They had no comments, so we're doing this instead. And I have a feeling this gonna be like this gonna be overpriced. Now we up here looking at TVs. I think we're gonna get this one for the guest room. A little something slight. The high sense Roku. I think that would be a cute little situation for the guests. It should be okay. Alexa. Anthony got this from my mom for Christmas, I think, but somebody had already brought her one. Really come in handy. And it's cute. All right, I'm about to connect this Alexa to the internet. Oh yeah, that's cute. I like that one. Do you like it? Yeah, it's cool. Okay. And a blue tea kettle. That kettle was cute. I'm keeping a list of first at the house. <laughs> I gotta add the first Amazon delivery. How the heck do you work this? Why 
one of your kisses Alexa, will make me feel oh so great. I need to call a friend. I'm on my way. Amazon delivery to the house. <laughs> we ordered this privacy film, but it has like a rainbow effect to it. We're gonna install it right now. Huh? This is what it looks like. It's called Rabbit Goo Window Film. It has no color, but once you actually apply it to the window, it takes on whatever color is outside. Mm, never mind. we're gonna install this later because it's a whole process. You need a squeegee, a ruler, and we have none of that, so. We got stuff in the house now. It's feeling really real. Got stuff everywhere. Anthony's installing the ring camera. Or actually, we did blink this time instead of ring. I was upstairs cleaning the bathroom, but my silly self decided to mop the floor before I like actually cleaned the toilet. So I need to wait for that to dry. And I'll be back up there to clean that. Today has had some get up and go about itself, okay? It's had a lot of get up and go. I've been up since 7.30, took a shower, went to the house, went to Ollie's Walmart and Value City Furniture, shopped. Prior to us shopping, we had the internet installed at the house. And then after we finished shopping, came back to the house and did several things. Installed the ring doorbell, um, Attempted to mount a TV, but we ended up not fully going through with that. Cleaned, deep cleaned. And now we're headed to Anthony's. I was thinking about that in the shower, like how black people, usually other people would refer to it as family friend, but black people refer to family friends as like cousin, uncle, aunt. Like it ain't no family friend. You part of the family. But yeah, so we're headed to her birthday. I think she turned 26. So she's having like a game night. Whew, that bed is saying, Christina. Chrissy Poo, where are you? Because she had a rough day. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I've been sick all day too. I feel better now, but like all day I was sick. Still had a full day of activities. Sick. What's up, y'all? Y'all might have already seen me wearing this shirt, looking pretty much just the same exact way, but this is a new day. But anyway, nonetheless, I just left out of TJ Maxx. I went in there and spent bands. I brought a whole bunch of stuff that we needed for the house. I contemplated bringing y'all in there, but it is so busy. It's Sunday, it's 3 p.m. right now, and yeah, the folks are out. I left the house at noon, so that means I was in TJ Maxx for two and a half hours. Wow. Like when I'm shopping, I have no perception of time. I will show y'all all of that stuff either in this vlog or in one of the home vlogs. Like y'all will see it shortly because why this dude over here smoking out of a bong chair? Oh, look at him. Look, look, look. Can y'all see him? Look at this man. I'm so weak. I'm sitting here in this hot tail car. It gotta be like 80 degrees in this car. And I'm just sitting here burning up talking to y'all. Anyway, y'all, we're sitting outside of Target right now. I want to go in there to see about their betting. Although I did just spend hundreds of dollars in TJ Maxx. So who wants to go and spend another hundreds of dollars in Target? Because I know their betting is not cheap. So I'm going to go in there and see about it. Because I really love like the sand and the tan colors that they offer. I kind of want to do like some chocolate betting. I feel like that'd be really cute. Especially in the fall. But for right now, since it's summertime, we'll do something light. And that's the only thing that I'm going into Target for. But y'all know I'm going to go through the, um, the clearance section with the clothes as well. That's a given. Oh, TJ Maxx. Bruh, it smells so bad in there. Like, I was in there, like I told y'all, for hours. And the whole time, there was just this, this scent in there. And I'm just like, what is going on? 
what is happening? It was making me irritated to the point to where I feel like I checked out mentally and I was just like on autopilot. It was just that little odor that was just throwing me off. And then every time I walk by the bathroom, it'd be a new scent. Like people in there blowing it up. Hey, y'all go home. Go home. Come back. You know, DJ Max still gonna be here. Blowing up the bathroom. Can't even enjoy my, my little shopping trip. Anyway, let me go up in this here Target and stop playing. Why every time I look at the memory card, there's four minutes left. There ain't nothing back here in the clothes section. Not a thing. Oh, this, ooh. I really like this, but I'm mad that it's ripped. And I feel like I should get a discount for that. <laughs> but y'all, look how cute. Oh, thank you. Duvet with the blanket? What is it giving? Yes? I can't decide. I'm like really torn. I'm over here looking at these soap pumps. And I think this is too cute. But it's ten dollars, and for some reason, I just feel like they're trying to rake me over the coals for that. What y'all think? A little soap pump for the bathroom. Hmm. We also need a shower curtain, and I really like um, Target shower curtains. Oh, they got a black one over here. Oh shoot! Oh, this is cute. I don't know if anything gonna like that though. I ain't paying thirty dollars. Oh, that's Society Six. Y'all remember Society Six? I found out about them when I was in um we both that. in college. <sighs> but I've never ordered anything from there. Ooh we! It was too many people in that aisle, all up on my back and stuff. But I got this shower curtain. I'm gonna put this like use it as a shower liner, and I just got a um, mattress protector as well. And as y'all can see, I put the comforters back. I'm gonna probably just order those online because I gotta think about it some more. This pillow I purchased like last year sometime and the stitching came out it came out on like four different ones so i wouldn't mm -mm. if you see this one at target it's comfortable but it's not made to last by any means smell some candles this is pompous i like that i feel like i get tired of it, it doesn't have the scent notes but i feel like i would get tired of this so i'm here talking to myself y'all y'all on zero minutes There's no way I can leave this here. There's no way. There's barely any feeling in this. Like it's definitely not for the comfort, but this is cute. A lounge pillow. Girl, stop. I'm gonna put this right up in my um closet office room. Yeah. And I also wanna get a um what is it called? A love sack to put in there too. Yeah, because floor seating is just so cute. You know, I feel like it just adds. Yeah, it's a little vibe. All right, y'all. So what we walked out of Target with was that lounge pillow, the shower curtain, and the mattress protector. Now I'm about to run the home goods, and then I think I'm gonna head to the house. I also need to run a Burlington and H and M, but I'm definitely not going H and M today because that joint was like 20 minutes out of the way. So yeah, I might run a Burlington if I feel like it. Otherwise, we're gonna run up in this home goods, but y'all. There are so many people out and it's irritating my nerves. Like every aisle I went down, somebody was down there. People was talking loud on their phones. It was so many groups in there. Everybody just yelling and screaming. It was too much. Like this is not fun. Shopping when it's just many people is not fun. I'm still waiting on my tax return and I just thought about that randomly. Like where my where's my tax return? Where's my Virginia tax return? But yeah, I'm about to run to this home goods. What else do I need to do? Yeah, that's it. It's been a blessing just to be out and about and shop for a new house. You know when you go to the store and you be like, oh, I wanna buy this, I wanna buy that. But you don't have space or it's just, there's no purpose of it because you, you don't need it, you know what I'm saying? But now that we're moving into a new home, it's like there's so much stuff to buy and it just excites me so much. It excites me so much. Y'all, we're at Home Goods now. But you know what I was just thinking about? It is so hard being a nice person in this world. Some people are just so rude, stank, 
ugly acting i don't know for why i really don't i mean i know life will beat you up and spit you out no matter what it's gonna you know life is gonna do what it does but it's your responses that matter i've been smiling saying hi hello <laughs> people just not feeling it today i think everybody is sick and tired of being out with all these people if you're one of those people who are just a kind person keep being kind do not let this world dissolve you into less than who you are or what you are okay period they have a lot of rugs. I'm looking for a cream and black rug, maybe like 10 feet. Because I think our couch is gonna be like an actual color. It's not gonna be like a neutral. It's gonna be like a pop, a pop of color. So for the rug, I wanna do something neutral, but still, you know, it still gives. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would do something like this. But honestly, this isn't, I mean, this is like the vibe I'm going for, like a neutral rug, but I still want some black to be in it. So, yeah. But I think this will be a good size. Yeah, this is eight by 10, so. That's crazy how they got these jones hanging up in here on real live hangers. But this is so convenient. It's so, so much easier to rug shop. I like this. I really like this. I would love it if it had some black in it. It's not bad for the price. Texture, it's not soft. It's like, you know, it's just texturized, but it's not soft. Hmm. I might just keep looking though because I wanna like really love it, you know? Really, really love it. If this ain't the cutest thing I have ever seen. Look at, it's a feather lamp, oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. It's by Rachel though. I just feel like it might be slightly too early to, to start buying decorations because I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't know what the theme is. I don't know what I need. <laughs> this is so cute though. I got found some curtains. I don't know if I'm gonna actually get these or not, but. Oh, but I like these actually with the little wrinkle action. These are cute. These are really cute. This is so hard to choose because now I just found these. These are also wrinkle, but it, it seems like it's more of a cottony. I mean, it's probably polyester, but it's given like sheet as opposed to curtain. This one is definitely giving more curtain because it's like more that silky, but this is only two. Um, panels for $20 and this one is four panels for $25 so I forgot what it said y'all all right y'all we about to do a home goods haul but we got to move real fast because I have one minute left on this memory card okay I was gonna set y'all up but it, yeah, it's not working so what is this we got a cheese grater some pathway lights um some funnels we got a curved shower rod some kitchen mitts and then this really cute bath set with the thing at the bottom this i don't know what this is but i was thinking about getting this as a purse curtains y'all saw earlier lamp y'all saw this automatic wall mount soap dispenser pot uh the storage i was gonna use this as a fruit basket i thought this was really cute this for guacamole and salsa because you know I love tacos. That is a storage container for like just bigger vegetables, asparagus. And then we got a pancake spatula and stainless steel cleaner and polish. Okay, we did it without the memory card cutting. Oh, and this. I thought this was cute. <laughs> How did they do that? They must have some type of machine that can like perfectly know what color it is and make it a oh, color match. On Canva, you can color match. So I guess they just use like, yeah, something like that. I'm about to go into this world market. I need to focus. <laughs> All right, love you. Okay, bye. What's up, y'all? It is Monday. Happy Monday. I just left the office not too long ago. And now we're about to head into World Market because we just need things. I just want to see what they have. I have never been to World Market before. This should be interesting. Um my keys it yeah my um my co-worker my co-worker told me about world market today y'all it's still bright hold on 
forehead look like I'm sweating when I'm just oily as ever. But yeah, my coworker told me about um, World Market today where we were at the office. She was, she was like, she had brought some chairs from here. And I'm like, chairs? Ain't that a grocery store? She was like, there ain't no grocery store. It's a whole like home goods decor. She said they sell like body butters and all types of stuff. So yeah, we're gonna go in here and see what they got. Hey y'all. Hello. Hello. Y'all, they got this big tail stick on this thing. Like, this kind of reminds me of like Kirkland's. There's another store that kind of looks like this. I forget what it's called. But, it's Tuesday morning. That's what it's called. That's what this reminds me of Tuesday morning. Back here they have like food and different wines. Hmm. I think that they have like similar stuff that Home Goods has. Wait, this is so cute. This is a pot, it has a hole in it. Ceramic filter. Coffee ceramic filter, I don't know what that means. Grind coffee beans, insert a standard coffee filter. Set filter on top of mug or coffee pot. Pour preheated water over the coffee grounds, allowing to brew coffee. Pour preheated water over. Allowing... Hmm. Interesting. This is like, I don't know if I like this or hate this. I can't tell. I think I'll try this because this just looks so cute. It's just a raspberry lemonade drink. Dang. Oh, never mind. That's way too many added sugars. It says sparkling soft drink with real fruit juice and nothing artificial. But I'm thinking that means that it's naturally sugar, but it's not. Ginger beer. Dang, y'all look at that. 54 grams added sugar. Bubble milk tea. I'm gonna try this. Just cause trying new things. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna get this one instead because I like the I like the packaging better. Okay, so we do need you need a basket to put um, beside the couch to hold like uh, throws and stuff like that, and they have a very wide array a very big selection this is cute not exactly what i'm looking for this basket is hand woven with jute staves i really like this one this is really cute This is the one that's catching my eye the most. It comes in three sizes. And of course, y'all know I'm gonna go for the biggest size. This is so cute. This, I feel like I've never seen one like with this particular design. I really like that, but I don't know. I was also considering just doing like a black metal like wire looking one hmm. oh this is what we like to see that's what we like to see right there I don't really like that one I want something unique you know something that you don't really see every day this is giving me all the ethnic vibes right here this a hundred dollars Ooh. This is really cute though. And it has like legs on it. I like this. Hey. Trips that you plan for the next whole They have this wine here called Jam Jar. Sweet blush. I stopped because I like the, um, the packaging. It says 
strawberry flavors, cotton candy, lemon and green melon. Mmm. I try this too. I saw these same cups too yesterday at Home Goods. So I think like they are maybe affiliated with Home Goods in some way because they have the same stuff in here. I don't know, I'm just speculating. I don't know if they're affiliated or not. I like this, but it's like, it's bamboo, so it's not, I want like glass please. But, kind of like these. I like these. How much are these? Eight dollars, oh no. Not for one plate. Don't y'all know it's the uh, it's the inflation um, economy. Like be for real. Nobody paying eight dollars for one plate. I don't like this either. They got a cute little mug selection. Look at this. <gasps> a taco. Oh my gosh. It's a taco, bro. Janae would lose her mind in here because she loves little mugs like this. Oh, this is cute. To eat this like when we do taco at night oh gosh this is like 20 pounds oh i like this lava stone oh goodness gracious traditional south american mortar and pestle have been around for hundreds of years the rough surface of the lava stone creates a perfect grinding surface for crushing spices and preparing sauces and guacamole oh i might get this So cute to put in the kitchen. She's just not gonna answer the phone. Oh, hi. Why are you answering the 12th ring? Uh huh. Oh, you ran upstairs to get it for me. Oh, really? Oh, good. Okay. Well, I wanted to show you this. Look how freaking cute this is. Yes, and it's like massive. It's so big. You see, compared to my hand. You say get it, guess how much it is. Small ones are $20. This one is $30. Backyard pig grill, I simply cannot. But I would get this, I ain't gonna hold you. This is cute. I wonder how much is it, it's giving 300. Oh, it's only $70. I love this. It's just like very natural, it's giving texture. This is also a jute rug. This one is so cute, I love this. It's just plain, you know, simple. It's minimal. And I think since the couch that we got is so, our couch is like a very big pop of color, so we need a very chill rug. Just, you know. Oh. Huh. Kind of like that. It's not big enough. And this wouldn't work in this space, I don't think, but that's cute too. This is so nice. Jute basket weave natural rug. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then these are like these um, pillow inserts right here. And I know I was telling y'all that I like floor seating. And I feel like this could be an option. This could be an option, but I might do that later. I'm just browsing, you know, just seeing what it is and what it ain't, you know, getting getting my brain juices flowing. All right, y'all, we got to head out. I'm putting this back because I don't even drink like that. I don't even know why I picked that up. I just thought it was so cute, but girl. Stay in your lane. Ooh, they got Chinese kickbacks. cute. See these, y'all know you can get these at TJ Maxx for like $6. They got candles. Mm, California poppy. Don't really care for that scent. Green tea, this smells good. Bergamot and sea salt. Mm -hmm. 
too spicy. It's a little spicy. It smells like cinnamon and incense, a little bit Asian spice. Anyway, let me go. Rock and peony. Ooh, that smells gorgeous. This smells gorgeous, y'all. So we're at the front of the store, and I'm gonna found a fridge. And I would definitely forget about the fridge. Y'all, this is basically gonna be a shopping vlog because there's a Home Goods and a TJ Maxx all in the same shopping center. I'm out Kingstown Shopping Center in Alexandria. Girl, I'm gonna mess that. It's a little hot. I'm not dressed for the weather by any means. So if y'all see me sweating, that's why, okay? Never mind that. But anyway, I'm about to walk to Home Goods and then to TJ Maxx. But I wanted to try this drink really quick since it's nice and cold. Y'all, every like I be walking around the store and there be so much stuff in my cart, but by the time I'm ready to check out, it's three things, as y'all just saw. So I put back the wine, put back the bubble tea. But I did, I did get the, the motor and pestle. And why was it 15% off? Because <laughs> I've never been to World Market before, so if you sign up for their like mailing list, then you get 15% off your first purchase. So, wish I would've brought more, but then I would've spent more money, see? That mindset, it really don't make no sense. Oh my gosh, my eye. Oh my eye. I look so, I look like I've been out in the sun, laboring all day, like sweating, hair, edges is crinkly. Like what's going on sis? Anyway, I didn't even try to drink yet. This is the Shaka, Shaka Tea Hawaii Island Vibes Pineapple Mint. That's pretty good. This is sweetened with monk fruit. This tastes healthy. Honestly, it tastes healthy. I like it, it's very refreshing. And I knew that it was sweetened with something besides regular sugar, cause you know, you can just tell. It's a herbal fusion, monk fruit, juice concentrate, natural pineapple flavor, and spearmint extract. All right, y'all, let's head to Home Goods. They don't have much in the clearance section. I looked at these plates for a second. I don't really love them though, but they don't sell for $3.50 a pop. I want one of these little noodle bowls. Of course, not this one, but I want one of those. And I've also been looking for a cute little olive oil container. So that's something that I have my eyes peeled for. Hello, what it is? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, period. Mm hmm. Girl, they nobody respected. Nobody respected them. Mm -mm. That's wild, right? Yeah. <laughs> Could couldn't be you, huh? Watch it. Really? Y'all ain't here playing Queen Naja Home Goods. I saw that's different. But this is all we're getting. I put everything else back. And then this has this on the front, but I'm gonna just put it in the kitchen like this without the words. See y'all, this is the type of stuff that just pissed me off. Cause why? Why is there a home gift cart on my car? 
Like, why? I can't stand it. I cannot stand when people do not put their carts back. I ran into TJ Maxx real quick, but I didn't buy anything. And I'm gonna drink my little drink on the way back. It's still a little cold. But when I was in World Market, I met these really cool um, people. It was a dude and a girl. I was like squatting down looking at one of the last shelves and like the food area and they walked by and the dude was like, excuse me, do you work here? And I was like, no, I don't work here. And he was like, oh, sorry. He said, do you know of any good snacks in here that we could buy for a group of people? He said that they were doing like a ministry event or something like that. I was like, I have no idea. Is this my first time in here? But then we started like trying to brainstorm some, some solutions and stuff. I was like, what made y'all come to World Market? And they were saying that they really hadn't been there either before and they were just kind of hopping in and out of different stores. And so I ended up exchanging information with the girl because um, I was like, yeah, I'm trying to find a church home. Like I'm trying to find, you know, a church community up here. I am actually sweating, like, why am I sweating? I feel like an old lady. Like, why am I sitting here sweating in the car like this? Just sitting around sweating like it's giving menopause. No shade, no shade. But I've been praying to like meet more people. You know what I'm saying? Like develop a church community up here. So, you never know. Let me go. It's 718. So I've been out here for two hours. Why does that always happen? Y'all wanna know what's crazy? We've still not stayed one night in the house. We have not stayed one night. We have so much to pack and I just don't even, I can't comprehend where to even start. You know what I'm saying? So, but this Saturday is gonna be our first night in the house. I am so excited y'all. Like, I am just elated. I cannot wait. We already have our bed in there. We have the frame. We got our TV. We got our TV. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's, it's time. I mean, the house is definitely not ready. We don't have a couch yet. But I know they say, like, it's good to stay in your house before you actually just start, like, buying stuff for it. So you can fill it out. You know, get the vibe. So, so excited. I still have not, um, as of today, which is... Today is May 11th. I still have not um, mopped the floors. I think y'all would have saw in the last vlog that we like cleaned the house and everything, but I never had the opportunity to get to the floors because I wasn't feeling good at all that entire day. So I was like really pushing myself to get stuff done. But after a while, I just kind of went kaput. So I did not do the, the bathroom downstairs, nor did I sweep or mop any of the floors besides the bathroom upstairs. So on Saturday, that's gonna be the first order of business once we get to the house. And then we'll probably just chill out. We're gonna order some Chinese food and just kick it. Like, you know, it's just gonna be a cute little situation. So, what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? I mean, it's just truly been a dream. I mean, the Lord did what he does. He did it so beautifully, so masterfully. We all know the home buying process is very tedious. It can be difficult. I think that's a commonly known thing. But we also know that it's one thing to hear about something. It's a totally different thing. To actually experience it and so i just feel so blessed to have experienced the process and experience it in a way that just felt very intentional it felt very planful and it just felt like the lord was really just saying just take my hand we put in an offer on two other houses i believe and got beat out twice by cash offers. And then we almost, or we did put on put an offer in another house, but that house had a lot of issues. And once the inspection was completed, our realtor went back to the drawing board with the seller's realtor and they weren't willing to budge on many things. And so for that reason, we just backed out of that deal. The same day we found this house which is literally down the street from the other house that we had. And once we found this house, the process moved so quick. We made the offer, was accepted, got the inspection, everything came back great. And it was just so seamless. And going throughout this entire process, I always felt confident that the Lord was gonna work it out because I was praying about it like day and night. And I truly think that the Lord allowed us to write on the property that was down the street and you know, have the offer accepted, go through the inspection and all of that, just to kind of quell our eagerness to move. And so, you know, we were going through that process. And of course, during that time, we were focused on that. And so we're not focused on like, dang, let's find a house. Ooh, we want to move real fast. You know, it was more so focused on like, okay, we have it now, so let's get the inspection done. Let's do what we have to do. 
um, so that we can get to the signing table. And so I just love that the Lord gave us that. You know what I'm saying? Because it was a lot trying to find houses and get the offer accepted. And um, when the offer isn't accepted, then you have all these emotions around it because when you really like a house, you start seeing yourself in it and you start planning your life in that house. And then when... And then when you realize that the house is not yours, it's like, ooh. Now everything that I had initially planned, everything that I thought, has evaporated into dust. So, I mean, those are really difficult emotions to work through. And in the same breath, it's like you're going through the housing process and you realize that just because you make an offer doesn't mean it's going to be accepted. But in your mind, you keep hope. And you also keep a realistic level of this may not work, but it seems like the hope for me was always outweighing the the realistic thought of like, oh, this may not work. We were on like this condo and when we did not get our offer accepted, like I was devastated, crying. <laughs> and now I'm just like, girl, you know, it was, yeah, it, it all had its purpose and it all ended up working out. I'm glad we didn't get the condo because the HOA fees. So even once you have paid off your condo, you still have to pay HOA fees and you have to pay your, your property taxes, of course. So, I mean, yeah, this, this house is just all around. It's just perfect. It's close to stores. It's in a good area. You know, I feel safe. I feel comfortable. I just feel at home. I feel very much at home. And so I'm just so incredibly, thoroughly thankful to God. All of this is due to him is I take no credit for anything. I take no credit for anything at all. Nothing. Because I'm his creation. And so if I take credit for something that I didn't create, that I didn't do, I mean, nobody likes people who do that. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm not going to take credit for God's work by any means. But this is it. This is a new journey, a new chapter. And it's unfolding so beautifully. So yeah i just thank the lord tenfold i mean i can't like the bible says if i had ten thousand tongues i could never thank him enough but this vlog i filmed over the span of maybe like a month from us actually getting the house moving in and then like me doing some home decor shopping i don't know why i did not film the actual process of us looking for homes i think that i just was so consumed in the process itself that I didn't have any extra mind space to vlog or to even talk about it out loud. Like I was just very, I was just very invested and it made me just like internally invested. You know, I didn't want to share it out loud yet. I didn't really talk about it too much as we were going through it. So yeah, y'all, but here we are. All praise to the Lord. We have a new house. The whole entire house. I'm just decided to take care of it. I'm decided to vacuum and to clean the dishes, <laughs> to do monthly refrigerator cleans, to hang up on my clothes, to decorate. I'm just excited about it all. I always pray that we would maintain it, you know? I don't want to ever have a blessing and then it's taken away because I'm not doing what I should with it. So, yeah, y'all. That's it for this vlog. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I know it might have been a little choppy, might have moved a little fast. But honestly, y'all, that's, that's really what goes on in my brain. Like, it's, it's choppy and it's fast. <laughs> and I watch these vlogs back and I'm just like, wow. <laughs> like, this is really what goes on in my brain. That's it. That's the end of this vlog. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Yeah, stay tuned. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Peace. Is it easy? Is it easy? Is it easy?